Welcome to VMware's demonstration, orchestrating 5G network services with VMware Telco Cloud Automation. This demo highlights how, with a few simple steps, VMware Telco Cloud Automation designs and instantiates the next generation of edge-enabled network services. Business trends and technologies are bringing together enterprises and service providers. Fueled by 5G, these organizations are benefiting from an entirely new class of high-bandwidth, ultra-low latency, multi-domain deployments that can respond to ever-increasing demands to modernize enterprises' operations. A clear example of this is Aurox's Industrial Inspection Drone application. This application uses drones flying through aisles to conduct an automated audit of the stock in a warehouse while it leverages 5G distributed architecture and edge compute resourcing to process all the information about flight paths and stock and with optimized latency to reduce drones' reaction time. But the challenge for the service provider is to onboard and instantiate in a matter of minutes this new enterprise service that expands across multiple sites. The operator will need to easily visualize the infrastructure, customize it, and manage it accordingly to meet the service's SLA. VMware Telco Cloud Automation has been designed with a vision to offer a single pane of glass for multi-domain, multi-cloud operations, providing operational consistency and easing network service instantiation. This demo highlights the use of VMware Telco Cloud Automation to design this complex 5G network service and its instantiation over a distributed set of Kubernetes clusters in regional and local data centers in the Netherlands. Our field network is composed of a central site located in Groningen and an edge site in Hoogzand. These sites are supporting Kubernetes clusters running on VMware Telco Cloud Platform and have been designed with four worker node pools to accommodate all the 5G core network functions from our partner TNO and Edge applications. The regional and local sites are connected to a 5G radio access network operated by Vodafone Zigo. To complete this setup in preparation for the demo, a 5G core composed of AMF, SMF, UPF, and 5G service-based architecture has been onboarded and deployed in the regional site in Groningen. Let's now show how to onboard the drone stock counting service in just a few simple steps. We first need to design the service. Using VMware Telco Cloud Automation Network Service Designer, we create a new service named Who's Edge App. Then, we compose the service by dragging and dropping into the drawing pane the network functions needed. In this case, we add the 5G core control plane, NHL Core West. Since this control plane part of the core is already running in Groningen's data center, we will simply add it to our canvas as one unique building block for this service. Then we will add the UPF to be later deployed at the edge. And finally, we will add the drone application also to be later deployed at the edge. At the end of this simple process, we review the auto-generated network service descriptor and complement it with additional artifacts. We can now upload the new network service to the catalog. The instantiation process is also relatively simple and is divided into four main steps. We first identify our network service as Who's Edge Drone to be deployed as a new instance of the Who's Edge App service in the catalog. The three components of the network service become visible, UPF, Drone, and 5G Core. The next step is the cloud selection, and it is crucial as it specifies which clouds and clusters will be hosting the network functions. This is where we can tailor our design to meet the SLA expected by the service. Since the drone and the app must exchange accurate positioning information, latency must be minimized. Therefore, we choose to deploy both the new UPF instance and the drone application instance at the edge site. The third step of the instantiation process is the configuration of the network functions and connectivity for deployment. The Edge UPF is a new instance of the onboarded UPF CNF using a Helm chart with the necessary N3, N4, and N6 interface mappings. Similarly, the drone application is deployed as a new instance of the onboarded Aurox drone app and according to a Helm chart containing the N6 interface mappings to connect the Edge UPF. 
Finally, and to maximize utilization of the existing resources, we leverage the already instantiated 5G core as part of your network service. In this case, we just select 5G Grunigan instance. We can now move to the review of the configurations and deploy this network service over the selected clusters. All actions of the network service can be followed from the inventory. We can see how the network service and its underlying network functions are being instantiated. After a few minutes, VMware Telco Cloud Automation confirms the instantiation of our drone service. At this moment, we can log on the regional and edge clusters and verify that all connectivity is up and running. With the service instantiated, the drone is powered on. Upon activation, the drone registers with the 5G core in Groningen and requests a PDU session establishment. The network's control plane sets up the PDU session data path between the drone and the application through the Edge's UPF, enabling the exchange of positioning and stock counting information. The drone service is live. In this video, we have shown how, in a very few simple steps, VMware Telco Cloud Automation onboards and activates complex enterprise services on 5G networks. Using VMware Telco Cloud Automation, the service provider can visualize, customize, and manage the infrastructure and network functions to create and launch the optimal service instance that meets the service's SLA.